<laughs> I feel like, do you ever feel like, uh, like Groundhog Day, like Bill Murray, like the alarm clock goes off and it's just... like a Groundhog, right? No, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like the last time I talked to him Tuesday, you just got on some 6 a.m. flight. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean... Yeah, can you please say that to my staff? <laughs> Quit sending me everywhere. <laughs> so, I gotta imagine, with the start that you guys have had, recruiting, I mean, you've already done a great job recruiting, mm -hmm. but... Has it gotten into like another level with kids now where there's even more interest? Is it, has it yeah, I, I don't know that I'll see the effects of that for a little bit, but mm -hmm. um, it was, you know, it's certainly nice um, to have people know that we're doing well, you mm -hmm. know, and maybe they knew before we weren't doing well, just were polite enough not to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice now. They definitely know, and they say, yeah, we well, yeah, you know you're doing great and stuff, so that helps. Can you describe what it's like uh, for you and the team as far as taking the court now when there's the expectations on you guys that maybe there weren't before? When you, I, you know, I don't feel that at all. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think my kids do. I mean, w I don't think we're going into Florida State as a favorite. So it's going to take a while before you're really going to put any expectations on us. We've always had them, and we have them still. But I don't feel this um, any change. We're still very hungry and very businesslike. You know, does it help that you play in a tough conference and they see the opponent and you can't help but be up for a game? Yeah, really. Come on. We could not overlook anyone. Right. I mean, we have not earned that right. So we are never going to do that. What, what's maybe surprised you? What have you been most pleased about this team that you were unsure about coming into the season? Well, the thing that makes them so special is, is so intangible. It's just their chemistry. And it's so... And we did some stuff to work on it. We did do like a whole leadership seminar before the season started to try to get them communicating in a different way and at a higher level, you know, with higher aspirations and stuff. So we did structure a five-week course um, to try to approach, you know, we didn't have any seniors, and I figured that we would have a leadership void. And you know, if you're a coach and you start screaming about missing layups and you have a layup drill you have in pocket and you go and do it, mm -hmm. but if you don't, you can't just say, we don't have any leadership. I mean, it's your job as a coach to have a drill and our drill, you know, so we put together some uh, stuff. I think I probably liked it more than the kids, but I can say maybe it worked now. What do you feel like kind of emerged as maybe? She's Momo. She's yeah, she's very vocal. Sylvia Bullock has always been a very strong. That's the one of the secrets to the team is Bullock. She's just a very strong, um, you know, dirty business. Uh, just do whatever it takes. She will roll up her sleeves. Um, you know, will take a charge and will do anything. And the team celebrates her so much. Like she knows she's valued within the team. I just think outside the team, people don't understand what she's doing for us. So Bebe's always been a good player for yeah. you, but right now she's like on another planet. Can you explain <laughs> sort of where her level of play is? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I can't, she's so fun to coach, and she's always always has been. But now she's, you know, got a little swag to her. She'll say a couple things. Um, and she got blocked in practice the other day, and that doesn't happen a lot. And then she's like, oh, okay, so I'm going to make the career off of that. All right. You know, like she's just <laughs> it's hilarious um, because she's really hit her stride. So it, it's she is from another planet sometimes. Is she um – I mean, what's what's been different about her game? Because obviously she's always been a great scorer, but mm -hmm. it just seems like the last couple of games it's it's been a little different. Her command. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's in command of her game, and if she loses it a little bit, which she she will do, and and um, it's an easy conversation. Mm -hmm. I don't have to. We don't have to sit her out for five minutes and get her. You know, it's just within the game now. I can just look at her on the court, or Coach Keeker can look at her on the court and communicate something that'll trigger her to sort of get her command back, but that that was the last piece, I think, for her. Her defense has given her so much confidence. Um, she was always offensive-minded, offensive, offensive uh, risk-reward oriented, but um, she definitely has such confidence in her ability to, to change a game on the defensive end now, and that confidence can't go away. You don't have an off night there, so I think that keeps her very consistent. What are the challenges that FSU presents? Rebounding. I mean, we, you know, but every, I mean, on down the rest of the schedule, it's going to be rebounding. And um, they have some unbelievable players. And they have, they have like three or four people in that have scored over 20. So that's a, it's not like they just have this one player. Like, you'll be looking at the boss scores, and then, you know, their second post off the bench has 18 against Virginia, and you just didn't expect it. So they do a great job of uh, finding what the other team's giving. How much of rebounding is a mentality as much as execution? Um, well, I think our mentality is a little bit more towards getting the ball than it is to boxing out. And we've got we to gotta add that to our little mentality so that we can be complete. You guys lead the country in steals. I, I know that you wanted to be, you know, force more steals, but leading the country, I mean, is this a little bit more than you expected to be this good at it? I think um, just being able to generate steals in ACC play has surprised me a little bit, to be honest. Um, you know, I don't know that we had this big – steal game against somebody where everyone went, oh, my God, like Miami can force anybody to turn it over. But I think 
these first four ACC games to be able to sustain that and almost have a little bit more energy on the defensive end has, you know, made me very happy. Thank you.